going to be late for school. No, Mom, just a second. in my bed with all this stuff in it. Oh, well look at that. This is your great-grandmother Rose. And this is her necklace. Yeah? So what was it doing under my bed? Well, you were going to be her first great-grandchild. And she knew she wasn't going to be able to meet you because she got really sick before you were born. So she left these things under your bed in the box so you would have something to remember her by. She really wanted to meet you. I'm gonna be late. Oh, okay, bye Haley. Love you, see you later. Hey girl, what's up? You ready for the sleepover tonight? What? Oh, I mean, yeah. Dude, you seem a little off today, what's wrong? This morning I found a box that had this necklace inside of it, and I guess it belonged to my great grandmother. Well, let me see. Oh crap, I gotta go. I gotta go. Bye! Ah! I just don't get it. Am I supposed to look something up in a book? Something special happened that year? We're gonna hear you from listening. No. Come here. <sighs> Maybe we should plug in these numbers. 19? 50. It didn't do anything. No, duh! <laughs> I'm tired. Let's just figure it out in the morning. last night when we plugged in the numbers. The 50s. How can we be in the 50s? I don't know, but it's kind of awesome. <laughs> Come on. We're in the 50s. Yeah, I swear <laughs> that. Dude, I would, oh my, no. Come on, Haley, it's going to be fun. Hi, you guys look a little lost. Uh, hi, yes, um, we are actually not from here. We're from the future. Uh, long story short, she found a box, and in the box there was this necklace, and there was a piece of paper that read 1950. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> you can't just tell her all of that stuff. I'm sorry, she's... <laughs> you look familiar. Have I seen you before? Um, no, we've never met. I'm Rose. This is your great-grandmother Rose. She really wanted to know. 